Hey everybody, how's it going today? Welcome to Minnesota Fats. I'm your host, Patrick. Just dropped the wife off at work. It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I... I want food. Um... We're downtown in the Twin Cities here. There's a little place not too far from here called the Coffee Cup Cafe. Or the Coffee Cup. I don't drink coffee. Don't like coffee. Ooh, the only thing coffee I do like is coffee cake. That's something. We're going to go check this place out. Supposedly it's pretty good, so we'll see. The smell that I'm getting from this place is absolutely amazing. That cinnamon roll was on a 12 inch plate. That's probably the biggest cinnamon roll I've ever seen. I may have to get one. I don't really like cinnamon rolls. But I'm curious.
So here we have the hash browns. I never asked for them crispy. Um, it's fine. I don't mind. I used to eat them like this all the time. Here's that chili thing. From here to here is 12 inches. This baby is like the whole plate. And then that pancake, once again. It's like a 10 inch pancake. We're going to, uh, oh, orange juice, water. We're gonna see what we got going on here. Try it out. Kind of looks like a whole wheat biscuit or bun or something. Oh, that's right, it's in the description. So, we're gonna try it. <sighs> wow. That's about all I can say. Wow. Oh, I... I'm an eater. I love to eat. Obviously. I mean, come on. Sorry, I'm trying to position it here so that glare is not screaming through here so much. Um, the coffee cup on Randolph. And they say that because they had a different location and it burned down. So they moved over here because the other neighborhood was a bit of a thug neighborhood. So the server's pretty happy that they're over here. That's why it says on Randolph. So it's not like they have multiple locations. It's just that they used to be in a shady part of town. Anyway, the coffee cup, the staff, the gal, her name, let's see, it's on there, I see, Susie. I normally don't do names, but I'm going to post a receipt anyway, so you'll see it anyway. Just a sweet lady. Very, very good. Kept my water full. I mean, I that thing barely hit half, and she was coming back with the pitcher of water. And I drank that stuff like a camel. So I kept her busy because I was furthest from the kitchen. But she was on the ball. She, all them tables, that was her. Uh, there's other people working, but they were in the back. She, yeah, there was probably... three four other couples there and yeah she goes on top of it all the time just bam 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 um the food wait hold up the seating so as you may have seen in the video you know they have uh, a bar they got booths, they have tables, uh, tables for four, tables for two. If you come by yourself, you can get a table for two. If you come with a friend, get a table for four. The portion size, well you've seen, I, I mean, I had three plates. I took up half of that four person spot with your drinks your plates and everything else <clears throat> now granted you may not get the an, an extra pancake or an extra side or something but <clears throat> in reality when you go to a restaurant or a lot of people and you get like say the dinner or lunch sometimes you get an appetizer so there's your extra plate and then now you're sharing, so now you got more plates, and it, they're, they're serving sizes. It, it boasted on their little Google thingy when I was like, food near me. It said, big portions. And 
I'm generally a member of the Clean Plate Club. I am not today. I am so stuffed. I have so much food left over. I got... <laughs> I ate half of everything so I wouldn't get too full and I'm hurting. <laughs> Will I be back? Definitely. The that, that was a different kind of biscuit. I'm not quite used to that. But it was good. It was soft. Um it, at first, you know, looking at it, it kind of looked like a multi-grain thing. Um, I'll, I'll post up above me here what it is that I ordered or off to the side or something. But, uh, good grief, I don't remember what that bun was called. It, it looked more like a bun than a biscuit. And it looked, like I said, it looked grainy. And a lot of things that get a lot of that grain or a lot of the ingredients in there is really tough. And you got to either use a butter knife or lean on that fork like you're going to test that handle out. It cut just fine. Um, it wasn't really dense. Uh, it, it soaked up some of the chili a little bit, but it didn't like get soggy. Uh, the chili was good. There... The chili was good for a restaurant, meaning regardless of your palate, you should be able to eat this. Um, myself, I would prefer a hotter chili, but this thing was loaded with beans, loaded with meat. Um, well, you've seen it in the pictures, in the video. It was it was good. There's that dang sun again. The uh now it looks like I got coon eyes. Squirrel. Anyway. The egg egg and cheese was egg and cheese. Hard to mess up. I keep looking at this restaurant. I'm just they have outdoor dining. Um, I sat right next to a window. I enjoy sitting next to a window. I like to see the, the, the people downtown walk their dog up and down the streets and, you know, people commuting to work on their bicycles and whatever. You know, you go to a lot of restaurants, you don't see that, you know, you're just kind of cars or a parking lot or some type of a clothing store. But, uh, I like people watching. Anyway. The, uh, boy, this, this video is all over. The hash browns were good. They were really good. They weren't oily. In fact, when I slid them off the plate, the plate was, I'd say, relatively dry. Which is surprising. Normally, when you get hash browns, you know, there's at least, you know, you got that surf, that, that little layer of grease there to break the surface tension. But, uh, I liked them like that. They were really good. Uh, I do wish they were crisper, but that's on me, you know, because I, I didn't say crisp them up. I, I just kind of wanted to come in here and what I get is what I get. That pancake... I think that thing was denser than me. <laughs> Didn't. So, picture. This is... When I first got here, the butter was melting, so I spread the butter. I put the uh, syrup on it, and I let it sit. Because I like a pancake that kind of gets soft, soggy. Um... I don't really want to chew my pancake, I guess. I don't know. It, I, I just like it like that. Here's a picture. This is probably 10, 15 minutes after I did all that. 
not a whole lot of that soaked in. This thing was repelling whatever syrup and butter I put on it. But it tasted really good. Uh, a little... The one thing I don't like about that is I got this beard. And if it doesn't soak in, it dribbles all over. I mean... I may as well just pour the syrup on myself and not even eat the pancake. I'm a sweet enough guy the way it is. <laughs> so, you know what? I don't need any extra syrup. But, that pancake, it, it was good. And, it was big. Oh my god. I, I don't even think I ate half. Uh, that was filling so if you like a pancake that's doesn't get soggy go here because i i have full confidence that you know if large enough you could float this thing down the river and it's it's not going anywhere it's whatever the sham wow is this is opposite this does not absorb <laughs> anything. Um, ratings. Oh, price. I just did 30 bucks. I'm like here. I think pricing was good. Um, I'd say average. Will I be back? Definitely. My ratings, I'm going all out all out i don't know if it's just because i'm in a good mood or or what we're going 10. that food was good it was hot it was it was different they got a lot of things on the menu that are it's a, a little twist on the norm like instead of biscuits and gravy we got chili and gravy they do have biscuits and gravy but they, they have things that they just kind of make their own. And I really, really like that. Because then, you know, I, I create things when I eat it. Sometimes I turn whatever into a sandwich or I just kind of mix all that up. Like I'll get the hash browns and I'll just dump the whole breakfast on there. Stir that thing up like a slurry and then just eat it like that. So good. Um, yeah. This, this place, I'm definitely going to be back. I, I kind of want to try that cinnamon roll. What do you guys like? Do you guys prefer cinnamon rolls or caramel rolls? Put that down in the comments. Um, it's good to know. Either way, whether you like cinnamon rolls or caramel rolls, jelly rolls, I don't know. You folks have a very wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share with others. Let's, let's send this out to people. You know, uh, let's, let's build, the, build the Minnesota Fats community. So, have a very wonderful week. And as always, may God bless.